<coughs> uh, welcome to the next lecture of information theory <coughs> so uh, unfortunately in last lecture i have used a concept of relative entropy without defining that that was because one of my videos got <coughs> corrupted at the end uh, i had actually a lecture before that in which i explained it but uh, the software which i was using that itself got corrupted and somehow after recording for half an hour i lost the file then uh, you know i directly uploaded another video now i am uh, dedicating this particular video only for relative entropy so you can now watch this video completely first <coughs> then you will be very much comfortable with the uh, you know last le last lecture where we used the concept of relative entropy to prove some inequality uh, for entropy now here is the concept of relative entropy <coughs> so now here is a scenario as an example suppose you have a coin okay uh, say it is a biased coin so biased coin means that you know probability of head which you may also call probability that uh, some random variable s is equal to 0 that is some p and probability of tail which you can call as probability s is equal to 1 that can be suppose 1 minus p <coughs> and you are the owner of this coin and you have fabricated or you can say manipulated this coin in such a way you know the exact value of p you know suppose uh, you know you have calibrated the coin in such a way that p is equal to 1 by 4 so probability of head is 1 by 4 and probability of tail is uh, 3 by 4 <coughs> as an example <coughs> sorry now here is another person your friend or so you tell him to guess guess the probability of probability of head and tail you give him the same coin and you tell him that you guess the probability so there are several ways in fact there is only one way uh, one prominent way by which he can guess what he, he can do is that is a usual sampling procedure in statistics he will toss this coin suppose 100 times okay and he will count heads how many heads are there and he will count how many tails are there and divide by 100 this will be the empirical uh, probability of head and tail okay so whatever he guesses and he comes with a conclusion that probability of head which is also probability that s is equal to 0 is suppose some q and probability of tail which is probability of s is equal to 1 is 1 minus q now after this guess you want to know how good this guess quotes good this guess, guess is <coughs> in other words you may you know you may like to frame it like that how close the probability mass function q is to the probability mass function p right so in some sense you need a notion of distance between two probability distributions here probability mass functions <coughs> and suppose let me call this distance as let, let's call it d and here's a notation for this distance so d between p and i then put a double bar and q so i will retain this notion <coughs> so you, you can also think of this as sub, suppose some d p comma q nothing wrong okay distance between not exact distance in some sense some some distance some gap between p and q and what should be its pro property when when p is exactly equal to q that is your guess is perfect actually we should write q is equal to p then this distance should be zero 
that is one thing <coughs> also yeah you know, you know if your q uh, is zero for any case and your p is not zero p is strictly uh, some non zero then you are you know you are too much deviating right the probability is non zero and you are claiming it is zero you are too much deviating then this distance in that case it should tend to some you know <coughs> infinity it should it should diverge a lot now one of the ways is suppose in case of this again coin tossing so if you write p p divided by q and you put a log on it so this is one of the functions which provide which satisfy this property <coughs> you can see clearly that if q is equal to p it becomes log of 1 and that is 0 right and also if uh, if q tends to 0 then this log of p over q you know it it goes to actually minus uh, you know it goes to infinity plus infinity right because p by q goes to infinity so it diverges now this is this is the sort of a divergence we can, we can call it between two distributions p and q now since we believe that p is the actual distribution p is our you know uh, actual hypothesis about the distribution so this is not the only possible case the other possible case is suppose if there is a tail then in that case the divergence is log of 1 minus p divided by log of 1 minus q right this was for head this was for tail now what is the average divergence or average distance so that will be if head is a good so p times log of p by q or if tail has occurred 1 minus p time 1 minus p times sorry 1 minus p times log of 1 minus p divided by 1 minus q okay now this quantity have is called relative entropy also relative entropy between two distributions p and q <coughs> and notation is like this p log to the base 2 p over q plus 1 minus p log to the base 2 1 minus p divided by 1 minus q <coughs> now we can generalize its definition so here was it, it was defined for any binary case so we can say we, we defined relative entropy for any bernoulli event okay so uh, you know coin tossing is one of the realization of bernoulli event okay so it was so s was bernoulli random variable it can take only two values now suppose you have a general alphabet set s as usual so and it can take any values s not s1 S K minus one, and we have we have two probability distributions over it, and there since it is a discrete case of so probability mass functions, we have two probability mass functions. So one will be denoted by suppose P zero, P one two, P K minus one, where this P K is probability the random variable S. Uh, sorry, the random variable S takes some value small S K. you know in case of coin tossing you can again compare k was there 2 s0 was 0 s1 was 1 so on so forth so you can compare it with that or if you have a die then k is equal to 6 and you have s0 is equal to 1 up to s5 is equal to 6 right so you can compare it with that now there is another <coughs> another uh, probability distribution another pmf that will be suppose q0 q1 qk minus 1 so what it can be suppose p0 p1 up to pk minus 1 is a true distribution q0 q1 up to qk minus 1 that is the guess suppose now you want to know uh, you know how close they are how good is the guess again so you will take log as usual suppose pk over qk right now what is the expected value of this that will be pk 
time is this and summation k is equal to 0 to k minus 1 this is the expected divergence or expected distance between the two distributions and this is what is called relative to entropy notation is p first distribution then double that uh, you know parallel lines then q this is called relative to entropy relative to entropy or it has a special name in you know in in honor of uh, two famous statisticians one is Kulpak Leibler they were the two who actually introduced this notion it's called Kulpak Leibler divergence also also called KL divergence you see in this discussion is there anything about communication no it is a general probabilistic thing and here is the power of KL divergence uh, it is very useful in not only in communication systems it has a lot of applications these days in machine learning okay I don't know if you know there are several computer science uh, you know graduates in our course and they definitely would have done uh, logistic regression and if you look in that sense uh, you know KL divergence looks like your cross entropy okay so use that as a cost function there in lo logistic regression and let me tell you here one point that in machine learning there are several divergences you know you can define distance between or uh, you know closeness between two distributions in several ways there are thousands of ways so this is one of the way and a simplest way I can say that the simplest way to define divergence or you know gap between two distributions and it has quite good intuition also but there are other ways also but in our this course we will need this much only now I need to uh, you know actually here is one small I should say it, lemma the lemma is that the divergence between two distributions is always non negative it cannot be negative okay it is always either equal to zero or greater than zero in fact we know that it is uh, equal to zero if and only if p is equal to q right that is pk is equal to qk for all k is equal to 1 to k minus 1 that we know right now we need to prove actually it is greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 anyways now uh, to prove it I need a small inequality so that inequality has very simple intuition uh, in fact you can prove this inequality from a very use, you know, simple uh, calculus based arguments so here is that so suppose if you plot log of x just a moment let me plot log of x like this okay so this is log of x to the base e okay and the other thing you plot is um, so here is x is equal to 1 so this is y is equal to x minus 1 i may not be accurate and here is 1 so what we find is that log of x to the base e is always lies always below the line x minus 1 and in fact at x is equal to 1 they have the same value otherwise it lies below it so we can easily write one inequality which will be useful for us that is log of x to the base e is less than or equal to x minus 1 okay and suppose if you have log of x you know with respect to some other base b then you can convert it so that will be log of x to the base e divided by log of b to the base e you should remember this and now log of x is less than or equal to 1 so this is less than or equal to 1 over log of b to the base e times x minus 1 
okay now in particular if b is 2 as we are taking so log of x to the base 2 is log of x to the base e divided by log of uh, 2 to the base e which is less than or equal to 1 over log of 2 to the base e x minus 1 okay now we will use this inequality you know step by step now first thing is we will start now the proof of lemma okay now here it goes d of p q is defined as so it is here pk log of pk by qk correct i will do one thing i will reverse the log of pk by qk so you know that uh, so you should know this basic fact so log of x by y is minus log of y by x okay so it will be minus pk log of qk by pk right uh, now look at this so now log of qk over pk if you take this as x it is base 2 okay so you can write it as log of 2 to the base x then you know that it is equal to log of e to the base x to the base e log of 2 to the base e and this is less than or equal to 1 over log 2 x minus 1 which is 1 over log 2 x is qk or pk minus 1 right now this is about uh, so log of qk by pk so minus log of qk by pk to the base 2 will be greater than or equal to 1 over log 2 qk by pk minus 1 right so hence we can write d of p q is greater than or equal to uh, 1 over log 2 base e k is equal to 1 to k minus 1 p k q k by p k minus 1 right i have just used this inequality here and I can now write 1 over log 2 to the base e summation now pk pk is cancelled so it's qk minus pk so this is 1 over log base to the base e log 2 to the base e Now see qk and pk both are probability mass functions so they should sum up to 1 right summation of any probability distribution should be equal to 1 over all the values similarly summation pk should be 1 so this is simply 1 over log 2 to the base e 1 minus 1 which is 0 so it means that the relative divergence relative entropy or divergence is non-negative okay and if you see equality when is equality attained that we can see from this plot also so log of x is equal to log x minus 1 when x is equal to 1 okay since we have put here x as qk by pk so it means that you know relative entropy is equal to uh, 0 when P is exactly same as Q. P is equal to Q. Right. So this is the proof of the theorem, and this is one of the properties of relative entropy. Now you can easily, you know, 
get what we studied in uh, previous lecture so you should now again watch that previous lecture and you will now understand it properly